Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 23rd of 2022, well, it is titled Messier 104. So what do we see here? Well, this is a galaxy uh, known by a catalog designation of Messier 104. It's also sometimes known as the Sombrero Galaxy for its specific shape. And it is a very well known galaxy. And in this case, we see it's a little bit smaller than our Milky Way, about half the size, only about 50,000 light years across. Still tremendous, but about half the size of our Milky Way, which is closer to about 100,000 or a little more, 100,000 light years across. Now, it is an example of a spiral galaxy, and we can see some of the spiral arms, but not very well because of the positioning of this galaxy. We are looking at it at very close to an edge on view, and that means we see the distinct dust lanes going through the disk of the galaxy. Were it tilted just a little bit more, we would see it almost completely edge on. But here we can see some hints of that spiral structure and the central bulge and core down toward the center, which would be completely hidden if it were tilted just a little bit more. Now the orientation in which we see a galaxy like this does not change because it depends on our view from Earth and we are fixed with how much we can change that view, which is essentially nothing. So we will always see a galaxy from the same point of view here from from Earth. And that's because the galaxies move so slowly compared to our lifetimes that they won't change in any, any amount, any appreciable amount over a lifetime or even a dozen lifetimes. So in order to see this galaxy from a different point of view, we would have to travel millions of light years out into space to be able to look on it from another direction and perhaps look down on it and see the, dis the better see better the spiral structure. So as it is with any galaxy that we look at, we see only the view that we happen to get here. However, we can, of course, study the galaxy in more detail, and we look at it across the entire electromagnetic spectrum, not just a visible light like the Hubble Space Telescope image shown here, but we can also look at it in X-rays and radio waves and get a complete picture of what is happening. And one of the things we've learned with this and most galaxies is that there is a supermassive black hole at the center of these, at that actually provides a lot of energy and gives some of the more intense energy that seems to come from the core. So not only this galaxy, but our galaxy and most other ones seem to have this very massive black hole at the center, being millions or even billions of times the mass of our own sun. So that was our picture of the day for April 23rd of 2022. It was titled Messier 104. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. Preview to be just press the button. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.